Hey guys and girls, I got another kick ass mod to show you. I'm back. It's probably hard to see it from over there because it's a relatively, probably not relatively, the smallest Mac made. I'll show it to you in a little bit um, in detail. It's called the Frankenstall V3. Maybe called a V1.3, but whatever it is, it's the latest edition, different connector. A lot of different stuff inside it. Run it with the Meb Mods M with a polished black AFC. Um, here's what it does. After a fresh squonk, it's just full of liquid. I'll say it's about 0.6 or so ohms, single coil. I haven't made a morning video in a while because my wife's been working from home and at home a long time before that until she's finally recovered enough that today she went into work for the first time. So that means I can come down during the daytime and shoot this shit rather than go upstairs and come down in the middle of the night anymore because that just doesn't work. My kids want to play video games and stuff. They want to go on golf cart rides. It's hard to make movies and stay up on that. So I get to make the filming now of this killer stuff back in my grind. That's what I like doing it. Yes, I am supposed to be working. But I figure I can take 15, 20 minutes. Everyone freaking takes little breaks at work to smoke and stuff and whatever. Go stand at the coffee machine. See, I don't do that. I hack. And then I look at Facebook and stuff from time to time. This mod. I see a lot of people um, jonesing for one. I see a lot of people saying, oh, I don't understand what's so special about it. I used Mex pretty much from October of 2012 until, mm, what, October, November of last year, October, maybe summer, yeah, it was after summer, around October of last year, got my first regulated mods in, started dabbling regulated, I've been using a lot of regulated, and they've kind of retired my Mex for the most part, not that they weren't great. I'm going to sum it up because I've used a ton of mech squonkers. That was all I used. One particular brand. I've tried a few other brands. They were good. Not going to take away from them, but they all had their little idiosyncrasies that I really, I don't know. One might not look as cool. One might, I might have too much maintenance to deal with it. One might have a funky way of taking it apart and put it together. One, I just might get tired of it and just move it on to somebody else, okay? This little mod, I can say without a doubt, is the simplest, most efficient little mod I've got. You might look at it and go, well, it's made of 3D printed. This one happens to be called an aluminum nylon. Well, this isn't like some college boy with a freaking, I don't know what 3D printers cost. This is like commercial grade 3D printed, okay? And the materials that make it, that aluminum nylon, are sick. It doesn't have any, I mean, it's lightweight. It feels awesome in hand. But you can be stealth with the visibility of this mod, like as far as concealing it. There is no way with, with this any decent build that you're ever going to vape it stealth. I mean, it just ain't going to happen. I still got this thing just like, you can hear it. I don't have a Clapton in here yet. There will be one put in it later. I'm just having that time to get to all my mods yet. So there's that little bad boy. Simple, extremely simple. But when I show you inside, I'm not going to go into a whole bunch of details and descriptions because people are starting to rip this mod off left and fucking right, and it bothers me to see that. And people going, oh, well, the Lucos was the first wood box, and everything bothered off the wood. Bullshit in my mind. When you make a direct fucking copy of a mod and just change this on it, I'm sorry. It's my opinion. Change the fucking channel. Go somewhere else. It's my opinion. When you make a direct copy, even the cutouts for the doors, don't give me that shit that uh, everyone thinks started from the Rio or the Lucos, okay? Because it's absolute bullshit. If you justify that in your mind, good for you. Don't send me any of that shit. I don't want it. I'll take original products that are made by original motherfuckers that have the foresight and the vision to come out with something. They invest in the right stuff to make it. Again, no bullshit here. This is high quality materials. The connect the contact materials are what put this mod over the top, in my opinion. The connector, a collaboration between Paolo Curcio of Frankenskull and Giacomo Beghini of um, SVA, affectionately dubbed the Frankie Bolt on the V3, completely put it over the top. 
this is is a sick, serious little Mac, okay? And I'll show you why. Don't take my word for anything, okay? Don't buy anything because I say it. No one's asking me to make this video. Trust me, this mod is already, like, beyond control, hard to get. Why are they hard to get? I ask you, ask yourself, why are they hard to get? Do people buy bullshit and it becomes hard to get and everyone wants bullshit? Or people, like, as I just think of some of these names of mods that I see that suck ass, like a hanger drip box. Is that thing selling for above RRP? Are they hard to get? No, I can think of dozens of atomizers, the same thing. Are they hard to get? No, because they're not that freaking great. If it's all you know, it might be great to you. You might think that it's the greatest thing ever, but when you start to experience some really, really, really good shit, when you're fortunate and fucking blessed enough to experience some really good shit, you begin to really appreciate good shit, appreciate innovation, and appreciate the guys behind the product, and understand, again, another product that is not mass-produced by a fucking factory in China, it's made by one dude rolling out of Spain. He's an Italian, speaks Spanish and English. One motherfucker makes this in his spare time. It's kind of like a hobby. Do you think they're going to be easy to get? Probably not. And if you automated this process and sent them out and all that shit, th th things would fall off along the way. Just like if any good Addies are mass-produced, they would suck. Any good mod that's, that's mass-produced, I don't think you can call it a good mod. You know, they're all made by a dude and his machines. That's it. This mod doesn't doesn't fall out of that exception. It's the same thing, okay? So yeah, it is going to be hard to get because of that. But I think if you're patient enough, you can. I know they're being flipped at ridiculous prices. I can understand the rage because if you're into mechs, not just, oh, the latest and greatest little mod, if you're into mechs, extremely efficient mechs, extremely simple, probably bulletproof mechs in a sense of could anything really go wrong with the firing mechanism? Could you take this mod and never worry about it if you go out? Hell yeah. That's what makes it good to me. It's just insanely simple, insanely efficient, and extremely easy to maintain very low maintenance contacts. So I'll take you through how I do it, and it takes about three minutes to um, deal with the contacts. So let's do that. Let's um, get over on the other side look at the mod in a little more detail. So looking at this little mod, you will see that I don't need to measure it. You can measure it yourself. Take an 18650 battery and add about five millimeters, maybe six millimeters to the height of it to make up this distance here and that distance there, okay? The width of it is probably the width of about two 18650s plus about six millimeters, whatever that is. So here you see, let's look at the outside of the mod first, the V31, in case anyone is not familiar. With it, they make different buttons. They make all different covers and colors. Got the killer Franken skull engraving in the side. The guy that makes these mods is actually like a master engraver too. That's what he does, like coin style engraving, that level. And he's not playing around with some little kid's 3D printer. This is a commercial application right here that is able to produce a mod of this caliber. So, taking the atomizer off the top of the mod. Perfect size for a 22 millimeter atomizer. Um, I don't know. I personally know myself that I wouldn't run anything smaller than 22. I don't really like many atomizers smaller than 22. There's a couple I kind of like, but I love 22s, okay? Here you're seeing the outside of the Frankie Bolt connector again, a joint venture between SVA mods and Franken Skull mods, okay? The inside of the mod. Let's take the battery out. This is, that's it, okay? I'm not going to go into a lot of detail with this contacts. I mean, people are already have ripped it off. I mean, it's just it's pretty easy to rip off someone else's design. But I will tell you, these contacts are extremely special in that they're like extremely high grade of silver. Um, they might even be some kind of silver. They might be completely silver. I don't know, and if I did, I probably wouldn't disclose it. Let's just say that they're silver. They're efficient as hell. This connector is re reverse threaded. Um, to make contact with your atomizer, you would turn it um, clockwise to raise it because it's reverse threaded or counterclockwise to lower it, okay? Just the opposite of what you'd do with a, a screw. So you'd want to stick your atomizer on there, make contact, and then slowly lower it down till you get it where you want it. And if it bottoms out and you got to come up, you might rebuild on the other side of your atomizer. You should be able to get a pretty gap-free interface between the two. This mod comes typically with the Tutel Frumo super soft bottles. I happen to be running my own little get up in here. It's basically, you know, a typical Rio bottle. Um, 
the little top and Giacomo Baggini had SVA makes. Um, not anymore, he doesn't have any more, so sorry you can't get them. Um, I've tried to run some of the Sunbox silicones in here, and I really wasn't a big fan of, as you'll see, this contact leaf here. Let's put this back in to give you the full picture, okay? This contact leaf presses against that. I don't have any issue with it when it's on this connection right here. And if this Rio bottle takes a shit, they're like three or two bucks. I mean, you can get a bunch of them for like nothing. They're not even two bucks. They're less than that. I think they're like a, less than a dollar. Get a whole bunch of them. So if it takes a shit or if this thing wears out those contact, the, um, the interface over time, which it probably I hear will, I just put a new bottle in it. No big deal, okay? So because this mod makes contact like this, it's all friction and spring on um, the springiness of the silver stuff there that's why I like this bottle but I didn't like this mashing against the um, the cool 3d printed deal that a friend of mine sent me I just thought over time that's gonna it's gonna become a problem no big deal this little bottle works fine lasts as long as the battery for me I pull it pull the battery I'm good to go I'm not the super sub ohm dude I'm usually somewhere around I don't know anywhere from 0.7 down to maybe low fours, low point four, zero point four ohms or zero point seven ohms. Okay, so there you see the Frankie bolt. This all disassembles. You can pull this whole leaf out. This whole leaf comes out. The battery goes in upside down, as you can see. Um, it will still fire with it up. I know it. I've done it. And a buddy of mine, Emilio, who turned me on to the whole Franken skull thing. Emilio has been a big enabler to me. Um, it's got me um, my first sunbox. I got from him and then he started to tell me about Franken skulls and then I started to recognize them when I saw this connector. I started to really understand that hey I think I would like that mod. I'm not into FDV. Fat Betty Vapes I understand just have a prone, they just have a penchant for leaking. What do I know? I've never had one. But I saw this um, the Frankie Bolt SVA thing really caught my eye when he told me that's how the new ones are coming. So fortunate enough to have one right there again these buttons easy to this thing pops right out. I can put a new button but I got a way I'm going to show you guys how I maintain my contacts I got it from the BP dib I watched the way P dib who makes his own mods maintains his and um, they, they apply to this and like a Rio um, P67 probably would apply to a Rio Grand too he takes like an index card um, this is cut into about quarters and I just take it like this this is the simplest way you could ever maintain your contacts. Cut off a little strip, okay? Get a little deoxid red. This is made by the Keg Company. It's a contact maintainer. It's for electrical connections, okay? So this keeps me from having a, a, any like made point. Not that this mod requires a ton. I think that silver just is a very high, um, it's a low chance that that's going to pit and arc anyway, but I don't take any chances. Remember, you're not making a contact with your battery. You're contacting that brass bolt. But just to make sure that I, I keep it clean, if I can get this damn thing off my desk, I put a little deoxid red on the end of this thing just to wet it down a little on the end of this side right here like that. Okay, you see that? Then I will take this and slide it right in between where the the silver contacts the Frankie bolt and just pull on it and you can see already that it took a little bit of stuff out of there okay just put it in pull it you're cleaning both sides of it at the same time you can see that line underneath that line that's really it you're cleaning the contacts right there what I don't want to do is leave a bunch of residue of that on there so I'm going to turn my card over at this point a little note card index card and pull it to kind of remove any residue I don't want to leave that stuff on there to attract dirt. Okay, so now I've just cleaned the main contact of the mod. Then you, you say to yourself, oh, I want to clean my um, the other parts of the silver too. I want to clean the positive and negative connection of where the battery's at. I also want to clean the battery. I'm just putting a little deoxid red on there. Okay, they make a deoxid gold. I use that on gold plated contacts. I use deoxid red on anything else. So what I'll do is I'll take a little bit. This The Q-tip has two sides, one to apply with. A little bit on there, on the bottom, sorry, off camera. A little bit on the bottom. A little bit on the top contact. Let it do its thing for a minute, just sitting there. And this is this is conditioning, protecting, and removing any oxidation, as you can see. A little bit there. Then I'll take it and rub it on the battery ends. Okay, 
just the ends of the battery. Oh, damn, me and the camera today are just not friends. Maybe I should go back to shooting at night. Let the battery sit for a minute. You want that stuff to kind of soak in for a second. Then I turn the Q-tip over dry side and just wipe that stuff off. It's that simple. Just wipe it off there. And not going crazy. You can see my contacts are brilliantly clean. Again, I don't think these contacts will get a bunch of oxidation because there's no like moment contacts on the top of the battery. I, but I'm keeping them clean. I don't mess with mechs. You can see it takes a little bit of oxidation off. Now I'm going to go to the batteries and do the same thing. So with this little system, wouldn't that take me? And that's even with a camera in my face. A couple of minutes, if even that, to do my whole contacts. So again, there's the inside of the mod. It's kick-ass. See a little bit of the Frankenstall skull face in there. The whole brand oh, it goes in upside down. Positive goes down. Negative goes up. You want to just put in your battery flat. You don't want to get it on an angle. You try and put it in as flat as possible. And it slides right in. Okay. Bottle. Again, just this bottle. If you use the super soft bottles, they might go in completely different. Oh, no, I've never been a fan of those bottles. Now you'll see that it's squonking like a breeze. Okay, this, I got this killer stuff in here. You, you pistol, you look like it's mango cracky. Um, done with everything here. I mean, we have essentially done all that needs to be done to give you a rundown on why the Franken Skull, in my mind, is such a kick ass mech. I mean, size wise, just the feel of it, and hand wise, efficiency is off the charts with this mod. It's just an extremely efficient. I mean, I'm not running some super crazy build in here. I'll give you a little peek at what's in here. It needs to be rebuilt, or at least needs to be dry burned, but that's just a single SS430 coil with a single coil reducer, a little cotton wick. So I'm not in here, like, running anything exotic yet, but they will get a Clapton in it. I've found the love of Claptons. That's why I love my Franken Skull. Fortunate to have it. I could take that tiny little bit of gap, Addy Gap out if I was so inclined by just um, dropping the connector down a little bit more and building on the other side of my Addy. But I didn't even waste my time because I don't mind a tiny little gap at all. It also lets me understand and know if there's anything happening, any juice-wise under the mod. Um, keep my air hole right there because I have a tendency to kind of tilt my mod a little when I'm texting. And if it's there, nothing gets out. If it's over here, it sometimes will. It'll dribble. It'll get in here. You'll want to take that out and clean it. Other than that, that's all I could say. Frankenskull version 1.3 or version 3, whatever. I forget that it's called. It's just an ass-kicking little mod. If you can get one, I'd suggest getting one. I probably wouldn't suggest going out and, like, I don't know, spending $500 on one. Just wait. You'll get one. The guy's making them. He is making them. He's not stopped making them. Just wait. It'll be worth your wait to get it. You'll really appreciate it. Everyone wants a mech, but... Don't mortgage your house for anything, guys. Come on, get real. It's RRP. Or good to want to trade something for it, a good solid trade. I'd always recommend, but to spend a bunch of money on it, I'd highly dis not recommend that, okay? So I'll see you guys on another time.